You're watching Best of Wisconsin Homes, and joining us right now is Josh Lavik and Associates. Nice to have you back, Josh. Hello, thanks for having me again. You're so welcome. I took a look online, just trying to get a feel for the market before we spoke with you, and at least nationally, it looks like from what I'm reading, the springtime boom is really looking to be like a bit of a bust. And I'm wondering if that's how things are locally. Yeah, so, well, nationally, uh, I think overall, I was just looking at some similar stats and our overall sales are down about 25%. Um, and we're starting to see that locally too. And a lot of it is, well, as you can imagine, the higher interest rates, but then mm -hmm. also, um, you know, there, we're still seeing pretty strong demand still. Our inventory levels are still very low, you know, less than two months supply. Um, throughout our region and um, as a result of that I think we haven't really seen prices fall you know I would have mm -hmm. predicted if you would have asked me six months ago you know with interest rates going to up to six seven percent would that cause a falling of prices and we haven't really noticed that so have you noticed anything different about the bidding wars because is that still going on or is that changed at all yeah that's a good question you know I've seen it uh, all sides of the spectrum you know some properties I've seen sit on the market for a few months at a time and buyers tend to ask what's wrong with it mm -hmm. I've had some properties that we sold recently and you know we only get one offer comes in and we're able to negotiate a, a deal and still make it happen but we've also had we have another one we just sold uh, recently on Winona Drive that had 12 offers on it so oh, holy Toledo I mean, yeah wow. in that yeah. case there was definitely a bidding war yeah. so uh, so it really just depends. I mean, that's I've seen prices all over the board. So it's really a, a much longer conversation than just uh, you know a couple minute <laughs> interview. Over, yeah. Over yeah. The air. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And now you you have something that you offer. It's called um, Snap Home Offer. Can yep. you tell our viewers about that? Yeah. That's, that sounds cool. <clears throat> I know it's easy as a snap, right? <laughs> if, you can, if you can snap your fingers. So <laughs> um, yeah, something we started doing a little while ago. Just. Uh, to kind of make it easy for people if they didn't want a ton of showings or didn't want a disruption in their lives or they you know they think they might want to move but they're not sure about it uh, maybe they've got a lot of stuff in the house or maybe somebody passed away we have a few uh, you know we don't do them a ton but you know in, for some people it does make sense I mean for example we have one uh, property we just sold through this program over in Middleton um, and you know they were they were actually building a new home but just didn't want a lot of showings and disruption they have a young little daughter and she just um, just was kind of sensitive about nap time and disruptions and things like that so so they just opted to go for that and uh, and it made sense for them another one I did recently in Monona it was an estate sales situation they had to clear out a ton of stuff just overwhelmed with the amount of stuff to do just to settle the estate and for them uh, it made sense to do. Um, and yeah. I, yeah. So Josh, describe what the SNAP program oh, is. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get to the point, right? Um, so the, the SNAP home offer is basically no showings, no open houses. You know, basically I'll come meet with the potential homeowner mm -hmm. and, you know, within uh, a day or two, we'll, we'll, we'll make an offer either from myself or one of the other investors in our database. As you can imagine, it's, you know, it's a, typically going to be an investor offer. Somebody usually is going to want to invest some time and money in trying to fix up the property. So mm -hmm. if your property is like immaculate and beautiful, then, you know, maybe that's not the right program for you. Um, but for the properties maybe that need a little bit of work or, you know, you're really kind of overwhelmed by the amount of things, mm -hmm. this is, can be a good way to kind of just sell it and kind of move on without uh, too much disruption. How does that work for the buyer, though? If it's, mm -hmm. it's sounds like it's sight unseen. <clears throat> if you said there's no showings, how do they know what it's like? Yeah, so usually, so I, I would usually go to the property and I take some a bunch of photos just myself mm -hmm. and so we do it that way and then, you know, if we do need to schedule a follow-up uh, showing or appointment, usually I can do that with just a, a smaller number of people. So instead of having as many showings, maybe we would just do like, you know, one day bring a couple people through or something like that and just have it be kind of quickly. Um, and then we have some people that we work with that, that are willing to make offers kind of sight unseen and, and, you know, just base it off of the information they have and then also base off the photos and kind of my description of what I've seen. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, That's probably really nice for someone, like mm -hmm. if I have, um, like need some updates or something mm -hmm. like that or new countertops and instead of me putting the mm -hmm. time and energy and trying to find someone to do that for me, mm -hmm. I can just sell you my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it certainly, yeah. certainly is the option. Um, yeah. You know, it's... Uh, Especially if you're in a hurry to move. Yeah, if right? you're in a hurry or like I said, I 
I think some people, the people that it worked out for before, um, you know, one of them, they, they had been in the house over 30 years, you know, yeah. and they just, they had accumulated a lot of stuff and it was pretty, they had some other personal items going on in their house and like they kind of needed to move into a, an apartment kind of quickly and like it was just, they just didn't have time to kind of go through mm -hmm. clearing it out and cleaning it up, maybe updating the cabinets or something, you yeah. know, whatever it might be. Um, and for them, it just made sense. And then, so we, we came in, made the offer, and they were agreeable to it. And um, they actually had another investor offer, and we ended up beating them snap. out. So wow. yeah. Snap, made yeah. it happen. And Snap, right. we're out of time. Yeah, <laughs> snap, we're out of time. Oh yeah. my gosh. Josh, went quick. People can give you a call, they can check you out online, they can... Give us a call, joshalavic.com, or you can go to snaphomeoffer.com as well. Um, either one of those, or feel free to give us a call. All right, awesome. thanks very much, Perfect. Josh. Thank you. Thanks Thank for watching. You. We'll be right back.